Hi guys, it's another cold, dreary Saturday night and uh, going on midnight. Another exciting night in the end times here on Saturday night, September 17th, 2016. Before I go to bed, I just want to give a nod to uh, my Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, Max Egan. Y you know, I, I've can be uh, accused of talking a little bit of, uh, of trash about Max Egan. Uh, but anyway, like Guy For like Guy Forsyth, like Guy McPherson, Max still remains one of my Humpty Dumpty tribe heroes. And I just wanted to uh, play you just a, a little bit of this week's, his rant, Reclaim your world and we're going to start as he does every week you know he starts off his rant every week with a quote and as many times as i've tried to warn people from going down rabbit holes uh be careful what you wish for take it away max who are you quoting this week In my experience, everyone will say they want to discover the truth, right up until they realize that the truth will rob them of their deepest held ideas, beliefs, hopes, and dreams. The freedom of enlightenment means much more than the experience of love and peace. It means discovering a truth that will turn your view of self and life upside down. For one who is truly ready, this will be unimaginably liberating. But for one who is still clinging in any way, this will be extremely challenging indeed. How does one know if they are ready? One is ready when they are willing to be absolutely consumed, when they are willing to be fuel for a fire without end. And this week's opening quote comes from Adaya Shanti. Welcome to Surviving the Matrix. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maxwell Egan. It's a and so then he goes, you know, his rants are 55 minutes, comes out every, uh, every Saturday. And, and guys, I, I, I was going to play a, a little chuckle in the middle of it. Uh, Max goes off on this rant about conspiracy theorists about the, how, how conspiracy theorists ha, have gotten completely wacky. Of, of course, what I, I, I guess obviously Max does not realize, that Max Egan is probably the single biggest, wackiest conspiracy theorist I know of. He's, he's certainly in league with Alex Jones. Uh... The guy, you know, it, it's it, it the the laundry list of whack job conspiracies uh, theories this this guy ascribes to, but I, I'm not I, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, this is I'm gonna move ahead towards the end. This doesn't come in till. Uh, Good Lord, how far into this rant? 42 minutes and 20 seconds before Max really uh, hits his stride. Uh, and I'm going to play about three minutes of this, and I will put the link to his entire rant, Reclaim Your World, and suggest you listen to it. It's a great way to to drift off to sleep. Uh, Max does have a good voice for for helping you go to sleep. All right, Max, if I can figure out how to calibrate this, take it away and tell the people how the world works in about three minutes. Because it's getting to the point, folks, where we won't have a habitat anymore. We won't have a world to live in if we do not rein these out-of-control governments back into some semblance of order. 
Now, the earth is being strip mined, folks. We are having all the resources ripped out of this planet, and we are the ones who are doing it because we continue to support this economic system because we believe that that's what it's all about. But it's not, folks. It's about life. It's about people. It's about reaching our creative potential. It's about living cooperatively, not competitively. And it's about realising why we live so competitively. We only do that because we're trained to do that, folks, because we're kept in a state of perpetual scarcity due to being enslaved to a privately run economic system which is designed to do exactly what it's doing, i.e. destroy this earth and discard humanity in the process. And is that a radical way of looking at things, folks? Well, it's not really because all I'm doing is stepping back and looking at the economic system and its result so far. What has the economic system achieved for this earth? Well, what it's achieved is environmental destruction and human death. That's what it's achieved. Though, of course, it hasn't just been human death. It's also achieved the extinction of a great many other species as well. So it's really done a lot of damage, folks. The economic model has not served humankind in any way, shape or form. All it does is perpetuate a system of competitiveness which is what is being used to destroy this earth and discard the population in the process. And this is the system that the governments are running, folks, and all governments really do is appease the people while the world is destroyed around them. That's all they do. They provide a control mechanism to just keep the people in check and to appease them and to assure them that everything is going to be okay when it's exactly the opposite, folks. The world is anything but okay. And our societies have done anything but improve in the last 20 years. They've just gotten worse and worse, more totalitarian, more controlled. It's become harder and harder for the average people to survive. The screws have been turned up, the cost of living has gone up, and everything is designed to just make it a little bit harder, a little bit more every day, so that the people don't notice how quick the water is beginning to boil. And it's a concern, folks, it really is. It's a concern that people just refuse to see the direction the world is being pulled. People in Western societies are so caught up in their social issues and their mobile phones and having the latest pair of exploding shoes and the right hairstyle or the latest fashion accessories, and they don't really pay attention to what's going on around them. They don't really look at the world holistically, and they don't see the direction that they're being pulled in. But the world is being pulled in a very, very dangerous direction, ladies and gentlemen. And the really weird part about it is that it's us that's doing it, ladies and gentlemen. It's we that are allowing it to happen. We are the ones who support the system. You know, if you're supporting these... in, Yep. We are the ones supporting the system. Max Egan is one of the few people that I know, despite all his wacky conspiracy theories, who, who gets it, who peels back that onion the, to, that, to that layer behind it all. It's not the banksters behind it all. It is us. We are the ones keeping the banksters in business who keep the start the whole ball rolling you know until we unplug from the system the system is going to keep right on rolling along but anyway i'll put the link on here and encourage you to take it over it looks like i got a little dog a little dog who says, Pop, do you ever stop ranting? My little dog had too much cobbler tonight, I think. He's got him a belly ache. Too much cobbler. Anyway, I think it's time for me to wrap it up, head to bed, and figure out my doomsday sermon for tomorrow. For tonight, this is me and the little dog and Max Egan saying bye guys. <laughs>